You may be seated. Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Kelly and Matt in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee and in his sacrificial love gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. Kelly and Matt come together to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. So, Kelly and Matt, I ask you now in the presence of God and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. Kelly, will you have Matt to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him? comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others. Be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. If so, I will. I will. And Matt, will you have Kelly to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. If so, I will. I will. And to the family, the marriage of Kelly and Matt unites their families and creates a new one. They ask for your blessing. Do you who represent their families rejoice in their union and pray God's blessing upon them? If so, we do. We and to all of you, Will, will you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two persons in their marriage? If so, we will. Let us pray. God of all peoples, you are the true light, illumining everyone. You show us the way, the truth, and the life. You love us even when we are disobedient. You sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We rejoice in your life in the midst of our lives. We praise you for your presence with us and especially in this act of solemn covenant through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This is a reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, the 13th chapter. If I speak in tongues of human beings and of angels, but I don't have love, I'm a clanging gong or a clashing symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and I know all the mysteries and everything else, and if I have such complete faith that I can move mountains, but I don't have love, I'm nothing. If I give away everything that I have and hand over my body to feel good about what I've done, but I don't have love, I receive no benefit whatsoever. Love is patient. Love is kind. It isn't jealous. It doesn't brag. It isn't arrogant. It isn't rude. It doesn't speak its own advantage. It isn't irritable. It doesn't keep a record of complaints. It isn't happy with injustice, but it is happy with the truth. Love puts up with all things, trusts in all things, hopes for all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But as for prophecies, they will be brought to an end. As for tongues, they will stop. As for knowledge, it will be brought to an end. We know in part and we prophesy in part, but when the perfect comes, what is partial will be brought to an end. When I was a child, I used to speak like a child, reason like a child, think like a child. But now that I've become a man, I've put an end to childish things. Now we see a reflection in a mirror. Then we will see face to face. Now I know partially, but then I will know completely in the same way that I have been completely known. Now faith, hope, and love remain these three things, and the greatest of these is love. Friends, in a world where there are differences, there is also love. Kelly and Matt are different, but they are also in love. Some say that opposites attract. Kelly and Matt aren't opposites, but they are each a unique individual, which is wonderful. I pray that they always keep that, even as they come together now as one. However, the uniting force is love. This love has been uniting them ever since they met at the University of Delaware nine years ago. 
Uh, by the way, if you like football, sorry for what my Nittany Lions did this past Saturday. <laughs> we are in Pennsylvania, and what's a blue hen anyway? All right, just a moment ago, just a moment ago, you heard from the familiar love chapter from the Bible, just in case you already forgot. It's that one that says love is patient, love is kind, etc., etc. It's a long list of love is this, but it's not that. A helpful tool can be replacing all of the instances of the word love with a name or names. So, for instance, if you're working on yourself personally, Kelly is patient or Matt is kind. However, marriage isn't a personal matter. It's about community, especially and most specifically the new community of Kelly and Matt. So in that case, it doesn't matter as much if Kelly is patient or Matt is kind. It matters more that Kelly and Matt are patient with each other, that Kelly and Matt are kind to each other, that they aren't jealous of each other, they don't brag about themselves, they aren't arrogant about themselves, they aren't rude to each other, they don't seek their own advantage, they aren't irritable to each other, they don't keep a record of complaints against each other, they aren't happy with injustice, but they're happy with the truth. They put up with all things that each other do. They trust each other completely. They hope for all things. Their love endures all things. Their love never fails. Who you are as individuals still matters, but nothing, nothing will be as important as the love you have for each other. So may you have a lifetime of loving each other completely, even when you don't live up to that list of all the things that love should and should not be. The goal is growth or maturity. As you continue to get to know each other more and more, may you fall deeper and deeper in love with each other. Let us pray again. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, giver of all grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit, Kelly and Matt, who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with each other all their days, that they may reach out in concern and service to the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Kelly and Matt wrote their own vows, and they will now recite them to each other. Matthew Douglas Prokash. Wow. What a fun fun ride we've had so far together. We've come a long way. We were quite inseparable when we met. I even told my dad that Delaware only offered a certain class during the winter session because I knew you'd be there. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> long distance for several years, living in Philadelphia together, and now a new chapter in Connecticut. There's been a lot of highs and some lows in the last nine years, but you have been my rock and confidence confident. When I sat down to write my vows, I was thinking about how you make me feel. The best way to describe it would be like getting a a hug from a loved one when you feel lonely, or coming up for, for air when you feel like you're drowning and all that life throws your way. To put it simply, you keep me grounded and steady. One of the reasons I chose the Corinthians reading is because it reminds me of how you love without anger, non-self-seeking, and with a whole lot of patience. (laughs) You feel parts of me that you didn't break, and I can't thank you enough for that. I admire your quiet confidence, zest for life, and how deeply you love everyone around you. God willing, I know you will be the most perfect father to our children. Loving, compassionate, and maybe a little bit of a maniac when it comes to sports. I promise to continue dating you, praying for you, and cheering you on. We've made it here today because we've chosen to put each other first all these years. I vow to do the same for all of our time to come. I love you endlessly, Matt. (coughs) Kelly, almost nine years ago to the day we met for the first time. Who would have thought that a little small talk and a cheesy pickup line would have led to this. (laughs) The truth is, I knew immediately when I met you that you were a special girl and that we were meant to be together. Our love and partnership is something I could have only dreamed of growing up. 
We've had so many special moments together, and as time goes by, we'll only continue to grow stronger. Thinking back, I remember the days of Domino's Pizza and Freddy's Quesadillas, talking about what our future could look like. I remember the long walks, the sunsets on the beach and on the balcony, and the butterflies in my stomach when I took you on our first date to Taverna. I remember the excitement we had when we traveled to Europe together. These are some great memories of ours, but what I cherish most are the little things, like seeing your smile when we wake up in the morning, your goofy dances, a home-cooked meal at the kitchen table, and singing along the country music on a long car ride. We've been through so much, but we still have a lifetime of memories to make. Like any relationship, we've had to overcome challenges as well. We used to have to travel hundreds of miles to see each other. We would take ferries, planes, and cars, really whatever means necessary just to hold each other. We've had to move to new towns abruptly and explore different career paths, but it's all been so easy because of you. Life couldn't be better with you by my side. You make me a better man and you bring the best out of me. I wake up every morning and thank God for giving me you. Home is where you are. And the best part about all this is that it's only the, just the beginning. You are my greatest love and today we begin to write the first story of our greatest love story. Kelly, today I commit my life to you. I vow to love you, care for you, and protect you through sickness and through health through good times and through bad times. I vow to put you first, no matter what. I vow to be the best partner that I can be every single day for you. Today, it's no longer I, it's no longer you, it's we. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with my best friend. I love you now, and I'll love you always. Ryan, may I have the rings? These rings are an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of Kelly and Matt in holy marriage. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Matt, repeat after me. Kelly, I give you this ring. Kelly, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And Kelly, repeat after me. Matt, I give you this ring. Matt, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. You have declared your consent and vows before God and these people. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Now that Kelly and Matt have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Let us pray once more. O oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of Christian marriage that in it is represented the covenant between Christ and his church. Send, therefore, your blessing upon Kelly and Matt that they may surely keep their marriage covenant and so grow in love and godliness together that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. We give you thanks for your tender love in making us a covenant people through our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for consecrating in his name the marriage covenant of Kelly and Matt. 
Grant that their love for each other may reflect the love of Christ for us and grow from strength to strength as they faithfully serve you in the world. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their lives and in their dreams. Finally, by your grace, bring them and all of us to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Kelly and Matt. God the Eternal keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may abide in your home. Go and serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. And to all of you, bear witness to the love of God in the world so that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you generous friends. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. You may kiss.